Hello all and welcome to my YouTube channel. So today in this particular video, I am going to be talking about an effective way of detecting outliers using PyOD library. So let us start. So as you can see, the documentation of PyOD has been opened over here. And let us walk through this documentation before we go through the implementation part of this PyOD. So this PyOD is a comprehensive and scalable Python toolkit for detecting the outliers in multivariate data. So this is an effective library which is generally used in production level for detecting the anomaly as well as outliers. It consists of various kind of uh, uh, algorithms in it. As you can see, it consists of PCA, MCD, which, which are all our linear models. And there are uh, proximity based models as well, which are such as uh, local output outlier factors and uh, connectivity based outlier factors LOCI which is fastest way of detecting the outlier and such kind of models are being integrated in, into this library they are probabilistic model as well which is angle based outlier detection fast ABOD, ABOD, COPOD such kind of models are also available even neural network models are available in this uh, in this library which is encoder variational encoders beta variation encoders so such kind of models even have been included into this library so that's because of this reason it's an effective way of uh, uh, getting the outliers in a data with using various kind of outlier models outlier detection models so recently it, they have added the latest uh, outlier detection models which are single objective generative addressable learning models and even this multiple object generative address selective learning models so which is generally been introduced in 2019 so these are the uh, algorithms which are being introduced into this uh, PyOD and even further if you go scroll down uh, below you you'll get to know that there are also outlier assemble models available in here and you can also use the combinations of these models all over these models and you can also prepare uh, your own custom models by using these kind of functions over, available over here in this library. So this is what a helpful library uh, looks like, like PyOD, and it can be very, very hel helpful in our outlier detection. So let us see and understand like how it will be helpful. So let's just uh, jump back to the collab and understand few of the algorithms which are generally being used in uh, detecting the outliers. And let's walk through a simple implementation of uh, PyOD. So let's start. So here I have listed some common types of algorithms which are generally being used in productions. So let's just walk through these uh, uh, algorithms briefly. So let's just start with the first one which is angle based outlier detection model. So this angle based outlier detection model considers the relationship between, between each point and its neighbor. It measures the cosine scores between each of its points and its neighbor and gives a variation of its weighted cosine score. It is well it is it generally performs well on multidimensional data. And there are two ways of doing angle based outlet action, which is fast ABOD and 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 another version is original ABOD. So fast ABOD uses K nearest neighbor to, to the approximate version, which generally gives an approximate version of this ABOD. And the original ABOD consider all kind of uh, complexities which uh, generally uses cosines, scores and everything. So th these are the two variations in this angle, angle uh, based outlet detection model. And the second one is K nearest neighbor detector. So as the name signifies that uh, it uses the K nearest uh, model, which is which generally measures the distance between each and every points by using Euclid distance. And, and it, and it uh, gives the outlier based on this distance. So if a distance is larger than the other points, then that particular point which has larger distance will, will be classified as, as an outlier. So this is what uh, KNS model, uh, model detector does. And it has also has three variations, which is large, mean, and median. So largest one is uses the distance of the KNS as the outlier. So it uses the largest distance of the KNS neighbor as the outlier. Use the average of all the k nearest uh, neighbors as an outlier score. So it uses all the uh, distance measured and takes the average of it and considers as an 
outliers. Uh, so if the distance is greater than the mean score of all the uh, canines uh, distance, so it classifies those uh, points as an outlier. And median scores is uses the median of the distance of the k nearest neighbor as an outlier. So this is what a uh, brief general uh, uh, general introduction to the k nearest detector model is. So there comes an isolation of forest as well. So basically, what it does is it creates a, it divides the data into uh, different trees by, by using different trees, and then the and it measures the data points which are lying outside these uh, trees. So it considers that as as an uh, isolated uh, uh, data point and generally called as outlier. So this perfectly work, works better in uh, multi-dimensional data. So this is all about this uh, isolation forest. And there's one more uh, algorithm which is called histogram based outlier detection. So it generally uses histograms to build upon the outlier. So if, if that particular data points are uh, above these histograms, so they're generally considered as an outlier. And there's again a very special kind of uh, uh, outlier detection model, which is local correlation integral model, which generally uh, takes an data points and cluster them into and mini clusters and micro clusters and with their particular di diameter specified and then it measures the intercluster distances and specifically because of the intercluster distances it classify as an uh, outliers point and we have feature bagging as well which uh, which takes the combination of these uh, outliers kind of detection models all the kinds of detection models so you can take any kind of like local correlation model and histogram based out outlier detection models and combine their outputs and present it, the outlier model. So this is what a feature backing model does internally. You can even change it according to the use case. And the last one which I want, would like to discuss over here is clustering based local outlier factor. So what it does is it, it classifies the data into small clusters and large clusters and the anomaly scores is then calculated based on the size of the cluster. The point belongs to as well as to the distance of the nearest class cluster. So what it does is it it takes the it forms the clusters and it measures the distance between those uh, small and large clusters and according to that it it uh, assigns the score uh, to the model and uh, based on the distance and then it and it uh, assigns that particular cluster as an anomaly. So this is what a uh, general overview of these kind of uh, uh, models which are generally used in. Uh, production level to detect the outliers. So now let's just walk through the uh, simple implementation of this PyOD. So first we need to pip install the PyOD library as usual. So let's run this cell. So uh, as I have already installed this PyOD on my this uh, uh, collab cluster, so it's it's already requirement satisfied. Now we'll we'll import a few of the functions which are required. So let's walk through these functions first, then we'll uh, import it. So uh, from pi model, from pi od dot models, we are importing KNL cluster model. So right now for the demonstration purpose, I am using K nearest neighbor detection model. So that's what I'm uh, importing from pi od, and I'm using uh, pi od data generator function, which generate a synthetic data uh, for the outliers. So we are importing it from the PyOD, which provides a simple function to generate the data. And then we are also importing evaluate print, which will give the accuracy like precision and recall. So this function will help us to uh, evaluate the performance of the uh, outlier model. And we are we are we are again importing uh, uh, from the Py PyOD library a visualization function, which will help us to view the different kind of uh, uh, outliers from uh, uh, from original as well as predicted model. So uh, let us run this uh, run this cell, and we'll understand everything uh, in just a second. So uh, like how these functions are working and how it will be helpful to understand this PyOD library. So our first uh, uh, implementation would be to generate data. So for generating data, I have taken uh, two hundred train samples and and 100 test samples with uh, 0 0.1 uh, outliers. So that means 10% of the outliers will be present in that data. So for generating data, we are using generate underscore data function, which I have imported from this PyOD and uh, specifying is all the parameters in it and will generate the data as X train, Y train, X test and Y test. 
so this will generate this uh, data x test and y test and then we're gonna be running this cell so let us run it so as the, as the code ran, ran and we got all this data generated and so now we're going to be initializing our um, algorithm which we which are which we're going to be using it so we are using over here is knn so let us uh, uh, run this and and fit on this x train so remember we are not fitting it on the uh, x train and y train as we generally use using the xclan library here we are only fitting it on x train data and we are using y train to uh, consider the uh, consider the performance of the model so let us run this so the model has been fitted to the uh, train data and now we're gonna be uh, using the different kind of function available here in this classifier so classify has this method called label uh, which generally uh, predicts the train labels so like uh, when when this model has been trained using this uh, X train. So whatever the labels it, it has predicted at whether this, it is an outlier or it is not. So if it has predicted at zero, so it is called in liars, and if it has predicted as one, then it is it is called as an outlier. So this is what uh, classifier dot label and labels underscore method is working over here. So it is it is working on this train data. So that's what I have stored this. Uh, this uh, outputs uh, from this uh, method to y underscore train underscore pred variable and similarly we have given uh, uh, we have uh, a decision score method available in classifier which generally uh, gives us the scores score of the model so let us run this and let us see the output like what this uh, y underscore train underscore pred consists of so let us run it as you can see, uh, it generated a binary uh, output. So these are the outputs uh, of the model, which generally says that these are not these data points are not outliers. And in between, it has one as well. And at the below, you can see there the clusters of one as available over, which is which is suggesting that it is an outlier. So this is what uh, y underscore train underscore pred uh, has uh, has in it, which comes from the classified dot labels underscore method. So this is all about this uh, uh, train part and now let's move to the test part. So now after training this model on this X train, we want to get the prediction on the test data that, that whether that uh, uh, classifying that particular test data points as outlier or not. So we'll use clf.print method and pass the test uh, data into it and then it will predict the labels which is zero, 0 and 1. So if it is 0 that means it's not an outlier and it's, if it is one that it's an outlier and similarly we're going to be using this uh, clf dot decision underscore function on the test data which generally means that it it predicts the scores of uh, outliers uh, like or the performance of an outlier method so generally uh, gives the uh, score of an outlier so for this we just run this cell and let's let's see what does this looks like so let's run it. So now we're going to be seeing the test results, which has been printed as uh, zero and one. So let's run this uh, variable. So as we can see, uh, these are the uh, test points which have been printed as an uh, not an outlier. And here are the some ones which are which the model says that it these are outliers. So this is what the k nearest neighbor model is working. And let's just uh, take these things in a form of uh, precision recall. So we are importing this evaluate uh, underscore print function from this PyOD and we are passing this class classifier name and y train and y train score. So we are just testing it on the train data set first, like what we have trained it on. And now we are taking the uh, uh, similarly, we are doing with that test data as well. So remember this train y underscore train underscore. Uh, scores comes from over here uh, from the decision score which is available ho over here in this uh, trainer score uh, variable and and y underscore test score comes from here from this decision function so we're going to be using this this these two variables and with the actual uh, true level points from y train and y test and ev evaluating on this uh, train and test data respectively 
So let us run this. So as you can see on the train data, the KNN ROC is uh, 94%, like approximately 95%, and precision is almost 85%. And on test data, uh, the KNN ROC is uh, almost 90%, and precision is 80%. So this is what an ev evaluator scope print is working. So it is giving the performance of a model by using this uh, the scores of the outliers, which we have uh, used by using the different methods available available in the classify method. Sorry, in classify function. And let's visualize these things uh, to get an accurate uh, uh, understanding of this uh, uh, PyOD functioning. So, so for visualizing the, uh, the data in it, so we are using this visualization function available from uh, PyOD. So, in this uh, uh, in this visualize function, we are passing this classifier name and x train y train x test y test, and then this uh, y underscore train pad, which comes from uh, which is from which comes from this CLF method uh, called labels underscore method, and uh, it has been stored over here. So it is coming from this, and which has zero and zero zero and ones value. Similarly, we have y underscore test spread, uh, which comes from this function, which is classified dot print. So what are whatever the printed results are coming from uh, from the test data. So it is uh, it is it has been stored in here in this y underscore test spread, and uh, which consists of zero as one. 0 and 1 and similarly uh, we are we are we are passing this uh, show underscore figure as true and we're not saving the function we are not saving this image so we are saying that save underscore figure is equal to false so uh, to get the better understanding let's just run this code and let's see how this uh, outlier algorithm is working so let's just run it so as you can see this is a better visualization over here you can understand with so this is the train set uh, which is ground truth so it is an actual uh, in layers so these blue points are in layers and this yellow points are outliers in actual uh, that, that means that these are ground truth labels and when these models are being trained on this uh, KNN model so the printed uh, the printed train data set is it, it's it is looking like this so it has printed on the test data like so these are the in layers and these are the outliers so you can see few of the points which were actually true over here it is printed as an outliers and few of the points which are uh, outliers over here as an true label but it has been classified as an in layers over here while doing the prediction so that's why our accuracy went down over here while in, in terms of precision it's it's 85 percent similarly if you see the test uh, test data so here you have ground truth test data these green dots are uh, in layer points and red are outlier points but when this model ran into this train data set so the prediction uh, performed on this test data are like this so it has it has uh, some some uh, some points which were outliers over here but now it has been classified as an in layers and here are the few points which were classified as an uh, in layers in in the true 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 label as in true label, but it has been uh, classified as an outliers while prediction. So because of these regions, uh, the the accuracy went down to eighty percent. So this is uh, this is the reason why this is happening. Uh, we can build a robust model by by using this PyOD as well by using combining different kind of models as well as using neural network models. So uh, this is how uh, uh, outlet action is done and hope this visualization is helpful to understand the proper way of uh, implementation of PyOD. So hope you all enjoyed this video. See you next time. Thank you. Bye bye.